New Prius is quite interesting. Sorry, Mercedes. One second. New oh. Prius. Oh, that's how, that's that's how I'm going to start this video. We've got new Prius. New Prius <laughs> is quite interesting. How's it going? I'm heading into London to meet up with Tim, aka Shmi150. I'm taking him to the dentist in his Ferrari FF. He thinks I'm going to be waiting outside. He's also told me he's going to be in there about 45 minutes to an hour. So I'm thinking I'm going to take the car off for a bit of a drive around London. My good friend Aaron happens to be in town too. I've told him I'm going to meet up with him for a coffee. What he doesn't know is that I've got the Ferrari FF. I had the pleasure of driving this very FF across many continents only, what, two or so months ago on the Fuel Faction Tour. I can't even tell you how amazing this road looks. And here we go. We're in sport. Bumpy road mode. Well, apparently the road's pretty smooth, so let's leave it. Definitely manual. Let's get to that. So I'm chasing Tim in his 675. I've got the GT4 behind me. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amazing car, considering how heavy it is. Incredible. It's quite long geared, a bit like the GT4, so I'm in first and second most of this. Wow, these are tight hairpins. <laughs> wow. Oh, Tim's off. I'm not driven it in London. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be loud, and I'm sure it's gonna attract a lot of attention. And it's not red as well. I'm not sure how I'd feel about driving a red Ferrari around London. So I'm really excited about that. Let's see what happens. Gonna be meeting Aaron around here somewhere. Oh, that's Aaron. One second. I just pull over here. Hey, buddy. Hi, hey, buddy. Uh, I'm walking down the side down towards um, uh, the Bruce's Museum. Yeah, yeah. I'm just coming down there now. I'm just coming down there now from uh, Russell Square. I'm here. That's me, yeah. <laughs> Wow! I didn't tell you I was uh, in the Ferrari, did I? <laughs> I thought I was meeting the legend that is Shmi, and then it turns out it's the legend that's Joe Achilles. Yeah, I was gonna say, you disappointed. Wow. Yeah. Oh, hello, so, FF. Welcome to the FF. Okay. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Oof, shouldn't have had the coffee. Wow, this is a lovely surprise. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. really is. <laughs> I've had a meeting with Tim this morning about stuff that's happening next year. Oh, okay. And uh, and he needed to go to the dentist. So, and he has, he faints when he goes to, has injections or whatever. So, <laughs> so it's probably best Sorry, that he's Tim. not behind a 700 horsepower Ferrari. You are gonna what, leave it with me for the hour? <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. Tim said anyone 
that I pick up randomly off randomly the street. Randomly off the street. Then, uh, Especially if they're ethnic. So what are we talking? We're talking Kramer, we're talking Blue Scuro over the leather, we're talking stitching, we're talking centre bit in the paint colour, we're talking this, this, this embossed headrests, we're talking secondary stitching. This guy's oh, a we're talking nerd. leather, like roof line. We're talking leather everywhere. Ooh, oh, carbon wheel. Oh, you're ringing me again. Am I? I'm a, are you no, not no, the real wearing? No, no I, am, I am, I am, I am, I am. So what's the plan? Oh, it's what? We've got an hour, so we might be able to just about do a, like a, a, a 200 metre circuit in this traffic. Magnificent. Yeah, perfect for the Ferrari. London London traffic. London traffic. It's phenomenally bad today, it really is. You yeah, can... so tell me about it, because, you know, I, 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 am a, I am a fan of the Ferrari. Yeah, well, I mean, it's always been a favourite of mine, as you know, and one of yours, I think. I just, yeah. It's just a cool, it's so un-Ferrari. Exactly. That, that's and that's not the only reason I love it. I, I mean, I love the brand. I do like a lot of their cars. Not a fan of some of their cars. You know, it's got the big boot. It's yeah. got genuine. There is like, actually genuine like four space. seats. Yeah, like you could you can get four adults in here I and reckon. luggage, um, and it's comfortable. And boy, when I was in uh, well Italy, especially pushing this car, yeah, it flies. I mean, I'm, listen, it really. A and thirty meters a... squirt just showed that to me. <laughs> yeah. so. No, but not even just in a straight line, which you would expect from six hundred and what is it, six sixty? It's it's just amazing and nimble in the corners for such a big. It, it just shrinks around you. Tim was yeah. talking about this with me earlier on. He's like, in London, it feels big. It feels like a four seater big car, which mm. it is. But the minute you get it on a twisty A road, it just turns into this little on a go kart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a little weapon. It belies its size. It does. Um, I think uh, I think for a certain generation, us, you know, in particular, I think we're all quite enamoured by the bread van shape anyway. I yes. Think, I think, you know, memories of, uh, of, of M Coops and stuff like that kind exactly. of sit with us. And I think that's why this is kind of, for a certain generation of people, been quite a kind of desirable car. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's, I, you know, it's a departure from what they really do. And we, we've talked about this before. I think, you know, when you think about residuals of, of, of V12, you know, continental cruising Ferraris, we're talking 456s, we're talking, you know, 612 Scagliettis, have never retained good residual values. Yeah. But this, you know, you scour the, uh, the classifieds for FFs and, you know, you're talking, what, 160 plus still. Yeah. For a car that's been around, you know, knocking on six years now. Yeah. I've got a nice looking girl that's going with <laughs> so yeah, I was interested in the 612, just like a 456 I'll always kind of stop and have a look at just because, you know, I think they represent <laughs> this funny level of Ferrari that, that the world has never really kind of got on with. Yeah. I mean, even if you go back in time and you look at, I don't know, 412s, 400Is and stuff, you were picking those up at 15 grand like yeah. five, eight years ago. And fine, admittedly now I think the world's woken up to, you know, the investment potential of Ferraris, whatever, you know, whatever, whatever guys they fall in. But, um, you know, I, I, this is but the trend for big V12s made by Ferrari in terms of retaining good value. Yeah, and no. this is, I mean, in terms of the spec, I have to say, I think it really, it suits it so well. It's a dual clutch, but it's a bit like, yeah, it's, it's almost, yeah, it's still got that sort of riding the clutch feeling. When you pull away from the lights, it's hard to, hard to do it smoothly like yeah. I just did then, but I'm just such an expert. At well, you know, <laughs> why else would someone give you one of these, Joe? You know? Oh, no, uh, another joke. It's yay. Right, so I'll walk. I'll see you in it now. Um, <laughs> they're the, um, like the sport classics, yeah, I aren't they? Say, yeah. I quite like them. Yeah. They're like the wheels they put on the 60th anniversary, the 991s that came out. Nice. You know, they've held their fucking value well. As a random the kind of offshoot. No, the 50th anniversary were on the 997s. 60th anniversaries are on. Was it the 60th anniversary no. on these ones? 50th. <laughs> okay, so it was the 50th anniversary edition. Well done, Joe. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, so I was right. Yeah, you were right. You were right. Yes. The 50 on the back of the Porsche. The, the big 50 on the back of the 991. <laughs> Do you want to leave me alone? No, do you reckon? No, because I was wondering whether they maybe they'd run out the six number six. So far, we have done about five hundred meters <laughs> in half an hour. Do a Krapovich do something for this? That would be outrageous. I think they might do. <laughs> that would I mean, the noise of that Alpina is enough that that's just convinced me that those guys are, 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 are pretty much doing. ledge. You know. Well, I think the sound down here because we've got some Ooh, nice. Yeah, there. this might be nice. So neutral on the Ferrari, you probably know this. You yeah, put two, both two, in. Two's in. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
buddy, buddy. It's not like you couldn't hear us. <laughs> <laughs> I think my man knows who she is because he seems uh. a little bit confused now. Huge man, yeah, well, no, <laughs> well, well, obviously it's, not. It, uh, <laughs> I've stolen this car. <laughs> Come on, I'm doing a video. Come and say hi to the uh, random Spie fan. Random, Spie, random Spie, fan. Spie fan in London. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have my phone on me. You should have seen the look in his face when he saw me. It's like, what? <laughs> One second, we've stolen his car. Yeah, yeah no, he'll get it back. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers buddy. Have up. a nice one. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then he almost kills himself. He's probably thinking, maybe he actually did. Yeah, maybe he actually has stolen the car. Maybe they're just that ballsy that they've told me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Sounds good, no? It does sound good. Oh, so a little bit skittish. skittish isn't yeah, it? yeah. Ooh. And it's so loud outside. Can you imagine Ooh. driving this through the Alps like flat? Oh, out? everything just. I'm, you're, you're, you're starting but flat out, like top of third, fourth. You're starting. Oh. You're starting an uh, avalanche, surely. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised, like you know, the Swiss and French authorities aren't like guys. <laughs> Decibel levels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turn it down a little yeah, bit. Let's just fucking calm that a little bit. Women of a certain age seem to love it as well. Yes, they you do. could hoover up cougars <laughs> driving around in this. <laughs> Your already melon shaped head would be like. I a don't have pumpkin. a melon. It comes from the man that we've called for 20 years Big Head. I mean, you know, brilliant. I thought you were referring to my. Oh, yeah, you wish. Uh, you wish. Uh, Notice okay. no girl ever called you that. No, oh, yeah, that's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say, you know, there's, you know, there's a car involved. They say, I'm gonna put you on speaker. He was like, I heard you were in jail, so I was like, I knew you were in some kind of car. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. <laughs> you need a new car, mate. Yeah. What's going on? Right, go. You look very well. I like this. Thank you. I like this. <laughs> Yeah, it's can, a you just, can you just get him to him. give it to you? Yeah, Tim, I, can I, you give me the car? Tim, can you give Joe the car? I'd much rather every time I see him it was in this. Oh, look at that Chevy Blazer limo. <laughs> What's the point? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh. come on now. It's the risks that other people take with really expensive cars. Not people driving them. Yeah. But moped riders, yeah. you know, skimming up the long side. Yeah, sorry, that was just a little thing that got my goat as that motorcyclist came up alongside us. Yeah. Maybe we can give ourselves a little bit of a... It's like a... It's like when you go over a, a, a humpback bridge. We used to call them tummy wobblers when I was a kid. Yeah. That's how you feel like on the red line in this. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, the kid that almost got himself run over. Yeah. After yeah. Look, what? What was See you it? later. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna run and across the front of the car. It's a, it's what a holiday! Didn't meet Shmeem and got hit by his car. <laughs> That's, That's a YouTube, a good YouTube video. video. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not mine. No, it's it's Shmeem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've stolen it for a couple of hours. <laughs> there you go, guys. Thanks, Cheers. buddy. Yeah. Wow, Tim. another one. Tim, your, your fame <laughs> precedes us. Let's get a blip. Go on. Yeah, he loved that. <laughs> loved that. Almost fell over, but loved it. <laughs> So yeah, that's the reality of driving a Ferrari in London. You're better off on a bicycle. But still, jokes aside, we had a really good time in the car. And I'm so glad that this wasn't the only experience I've had in the FF. I'm so glad that you know I, got, I went on the Fuel Faction Tour and I got to spank this car day after day. Drive it properly, you know, drive it how it's meant to be driven. But also now experience it in London traffic and it does that very well. It's such a capable car, you know, it really is. It is the Ferrari that does everything. It's the supercar that does everything. 
he's here he's ready okay so i've got to go guys thanks for watching as always please subscribe give us a thumbs up if you like this video plenty more to come got lots of really exciting things planned hopefully i can fit them all in cheers see you at the next one oh have you used the manatino much the no that's the... right yeah can you do that again <laughs> <laughs> they're like oh my god a guy in a ferrari let's go that's amazing he's yes. not a knob i'm not a cock um. <laughs> Maybe cut all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so just, I'll just go just to the end. Yeah, just go. Yeah, just cut all of them. Yeah. <laughs>